garage damage in Sheboygan County fire, two arrested after drug busts in Manitowoc, Sheboygan ranks in top 20 best cities for driving. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, August 29, 2019. An investigation continues in the town of Holland after a garage fire Wednesday night. Sheboygan County officials say the call came in around 8.30 at a house located on North 2422 Cardinal Lane. The fire was contained to the garage but didn't leave behind some damage to the adjacent garage as well. No one was injured. Labor Day holiday traffic will get a break from construction this weekend. According to Wisconsin State Trooper Tracy Drager, most road construction work is being put on hold for the holiday. As many lanes as possible will be open, but Drager still advises caution as slowdowns may still occur in those places. Peak holiday traffic hours are expected between noon and 8 p.m both tomorrow and on Labor Day. Two Manitowoc residents are facing drug charges after being busted during a traffic stop this week. Police say the two unidentified suspects were pulled over Tuesday morning near Marshall and 22nd Streets because one of them was not wearing their seatbelt. The two were also reportedly driving around in a car registered to a man who died about three months ago. When questioned, the 37-year-old female passenger told police that the car now belonged to her, but she could not provide any documentation. According to the police, due to the 28-year-old male driver's drug history, a canine unit was called in to search the car where meth was found. Both were arrested for possession of meth and second or subsequent offense. The woman was also charged with being a keeper of a drug house or car. Aaron's company in Brilliant is looking to add about 150 jobs over the next couple of months. The Aaron's company says growth is very necessary at its Calumet County plant due to the increasing demand for the best known product, zero turn lawnmowers. The Direction of Operations and Plant Manager there says they have been seeing double-digit growth for the product, which is why they are now looking at renovating the Brilliant plant to make more. The company is planning to add shipping vehicles, dock and lasers, and with new machines comes the need for new workers. Next Saturday, officials say they will be holding open calls for job positions. Moving into the newly renovated City Hall is no simple task, as we learned from Mayor Mike Vandersteen. The mayor said that the open house was scheduled on September 3rd before the big move so that the public could see the final project, all its nooks and crannies and its furniture. Once the open house concludes, the move-in begins on September 4th and will take until the 20th to complete. The reason it takes so long, according to the mayor, is the need to move department by department, one at a time, so that downtime is minimized. The public is welcome to the grand opening on Tuesday, September 3rd, from 2 until 6 p.m. The Common Council will hold its very first meeting in the new council chambers that evening at 6 o'clock p.m. And finally, driving around Sheboygan can be risky business, but it is better than most cities. Quote Wizard, an online insurance comparing company, gathered figures from National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to determine the best and worst driving conditions among Wisconsin's 50 largest cities. Sheboygan ranks 18th best based on the number of incidents, including accidents, speeding tickets, DUIs, and citations. As for the safest, Superior ranks as the top city. 
Milwaukee might seem a good choice for the worst, but it is actually fourth places, four places higher than Sheboygan on the good list. The worst overall, Mount Pleasant, right along I-94 corridor in the highly congested southeast corner. And that's our report for today. Join me again next week for more local news and information on Community News Review. Have a great and safe Labor Day weekend. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.